Hello, hello, chosen ones. I hope everyone is having a great, blessed day. I am Latoya T. Wolford, and I am on here to continue the series about how to not let your money control you. You control your money. Your money does not control you. So we was talking about Luke 16, verse 11, and Hosea 4, verse 6. So I'm going to read those scriptures over to you all again, just in case someone is new to the channel and they did not receive it or did not listen to it. And this is Luke. Therefore, if you have not been fruitful in the case of unrighteousness, mammon, deceitful, riches, money, possessions, who will trust to you true riches? So what God is saying is, okay, even though we know mammon is wrong, but if you can't even be trusted with your mammon, how can he give you true riches? How is he going to trust you with that? What he means by that is, how is he going to trust you to do what he needs you to do in this world? If you're spending all your money recklessly, he can't. How can he trust you? Because he will give you the money, but he got to make sure you're going to do what's right with the money. You have to do what's right with your money. You can't just be going out spending money recklessly and not having nothing left over. And I said that in my previous videos. Of, it's a couple of them up, so you all should check out them videos because it is like really walking you through the process of what you need to not do to not let your money control you. And so God is looking for someone he can trust with money who is going to advance his kingdom. So that is why he said, how will he be able to trust you if you're not doing what's right right now with the money that's deceitful <laughs> as you're going to do right with the money that I give to you? So I don't know if everyone know what mammon is, but the definition of mammon is wealth regarded as an evil influence or false object of worship and devotion. Okay, now this is the definition, but I also have the definition um, in a previous one of the other videos too, just in case someone don't know what it is, but we cannot do that. We have to do better. We have to do better. We want to save. We want to save and have money for our children, for our grandchildren to put up. We want to have money to live off of. We don't want to live from paycheck to paycheck, but you got to stop spending money recklessly. If you know it's something that you don't need, don't just buy just to be buying it. Don't do that. Put it up. Save it. Save it. Put it up and save it for a rainy day. Save it for a rainy day. And in Hosea 4 verse 6, it says, His people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. Because we don't know no better. That's why. That's why money is being spent like that. No one is um, advancing it in the kingdom of God. No one is trying to create legacy with it. So, if you on this channel listening to this video, you know what you're not doing right with your money. You know and God knows too. God knows too. So that's something that we must fix. I used to be the same way. I used to be the same way. So don't feel bad. Do not feel bad about it because I have made so many bad decisions. We all make bad decisions. We are not perfect. So don't let that weigh you down. But what I do know, that's a hurting feeling when you don't have money or when you just got paid. And the next day, your money is gone because you went in and went to the club with it or you went shopping at the mall. You went and did unnecessary things with your money. You kept going out to eat when you literally could cook at home. You can go buy food and cook it at home. You don't have to go out to eat. Yes, it's, some, it's okay to treat ourselves. It's okay. But make sure you have the funds when you do it. Don't just do it just to be doing it because you're trying to be like somebody else or do what someone else is doing. 
Do it because it's something that you want to do and you are smart with your money and you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Your bills are paid. Your rent is paid. You are good. Your children are taken care of. You have food in your house. Then, okay, that's fine. Then go out and treat yourself a little bit, but always keep money. Always have money saved up because you never know what may happen and you never know when you might need it. So always keep money saved up. And for, as for me, I don't like borrowing. <laughs> I do not like borrowing money from no one. I don't like doing it. I say all the time, I am the lender. I am not the borrower. I don't like being a borrower. I don't want to be the borrower because then you got to pay people back. And then sometimes people may have an attitude with you because you ask them for money. You don't want to ask nobody for money. Why ask when your father has all of it for you already? All you have to do is be obedient and follow his directions. And he's going to give you the desires of your heart. You don't even have to do that. You don't have to ask nobody for nothing. You ask God and God alone. That's it. You don't have to do that. Okay. I want to also read Proverbs 28 verse 19 with you all. It says, he who cultivates his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless people and pursuits will have poverty enough. That's like basically what I was just saying. We can't be around here trying to be like nobody else. We can't be trying to keep up with with friends or whoever, whoever have what. We can't do that. We have to live for God. We have to live for God. We're not going to get anything by following what other people do. Don't be a follower. Who want to be a follower? Not me. I don't want to follow no one but God. I don't want to follow you. No. No, I, you follow somebody, they could be leading you. Down, down the wrong path all the way, all the way down the wrong path. Because you already know if God is not the first one in their life, how can they lead you anywhere? <laughs> they can't lead you nowhere. They cannot lead you nowhere but down the wrong path. If a person is not keeping God first in their life, that's not no one you need to be listening to. I'm sorry, but no, you don't listen to nobody that is not following God's way of life, God's way of living, the life that God has for us. You do not listen to that person because that person will lead you astray. And he is saying right here in this verse, he who cultivates his land have plenty of bread, but he who follows, key word, follows, worthless, People and pursuits will have poverty enough. We will have poverty. And that is not the life that God has for us. That is not the life that he wants for us. That is not why he put us on this earth. That is not why he created us. He did not create us for that. He wants us to live heaven on earth. We are supposed to be living heaven on earth, not worrying about when our next meal is going to come from or what bill needs to be paid. We're not supposed to worry about things like that. And nine times out of 10, when we start worrying about things like that, it's because we didn't spend our money correctly. We didn't take care of what needed to be taken care of first. We chose to do what we wanted to do. And now, you're reaping the consequences later. For what? To go out? To go get your hair done and your nails done? Yes, we supposed to look beautiful all the time. Yes, we supposed to look handsome, keep your hair cuts and all that. But do it when you have the money. Don't do it if it's the last of your money. Sometimes you, you have to sacrifice. I have done it a lot. I have done it a lot. And I'm glad I did because at first I was just reckless out here. Reckless. Sister girl was reckless. Just spending money. Spending money. Left and right. Just spending money. Going shopping. Just buying shoes. Shoes I never even wore before. Never wore. Just buying them. Go to the store. See a pair of shoes. I like, oh, I'm buying these. Just buying stuff. Just buying stuff. I had a real bad 
shoe addiction. And I'm so happy I broke it. I thank God I broke it because it was really horrible. So you all think about what I have been saying these last couple of days about these videos, about spending your money wisely and not recklessly. And it will be a blessing to you. If you got to keep going back listening to them over and over again, do that. If you have to take notes off the video, do that too. I take notes. I take notes all the time. You must take notes because, I mean, sometimes you may forget something that you heard. So take notes. Get a notebook and write stuff down. Write it down. Write it down. We don't want to be out here living reckless, okay? We want to listen to what God is saying. We want to have money where if somebody asks us for something, we have it. We have it already. We ain't even got to think about it because we already have it. We already have it ready. Okay? You all have a great and awesome day. Blessings to you all. Blessings to you all. Love you all. I will talk to you all soon.